Katie Hasty from HitFix.com, and today I'm with Emily Higgins, um, who is the director of Grow Up Tony Phillips. Now, you've probably already seen the trailer for Grow Up Tony Phillips on our website, HitFix.com. Um, but today we're going to talk about Emily's history with South By, and Emily is Emily's young, like she's 20 years old. 20 years old? 20. <laughs> oh my God. What were you doing when you were 20? Emily has been here before. Tell me a little bit about your history with the festival. You've been here with other films, right? Yeah, I um, I my last feature is called My Sucky Teen Romance, and we premiered that at South by uh, 2011. And uh, I don't know if anybody else knows this, but I was involved in a student short the same year because uh, I was still in high school, <laughs> and. Uh, so I, I almost got a badge for both things, but I ended up getting one for the feature. <laughs> All right, well, that was your own work. But you've been making films for the last eight years? Yes. And uh, uh, can you explain why South by Southwest is a good film festival for young filmmakers like yourself? I think it's very friendly in the way that Austin is very friendly to creative people and to the film community specifically. Mm -hmm. There are places like the Alamo and the Film Society and... Um, it's all very supportive of people who just love movies and no matter how old you are, if you want to make them, they just want to support you and, and help you out, which is just really cool and you don't see that everywhere. And South By just feels like um, it's so big, you know, <laughs> and, um, and it's very accepting, I think, because of that. Um, there are just so many opportunities to go meet people even at events that aren't alcohol related <laughs> and um, and just uh, see what's going on anywhere you are so even if you don't have a badge you can still theoretically like go and meet and network and all that stuff um, no matter how old you are. Gotcha and what is your personal history with Austin? Are you from here or how did you end up here? Um, well I, I guess we moved here when I was a baby, so I've pretty much grown up here. An Austin native, very rare. Very yes. Rare. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess like the whole Texas thing, if you aren't born here, you're not from here. Is that Texas <laughs> accent? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was born in Philadelphia, but um, moved here shortly after and grew up here and currently still reside here. <laughs> all right, all right. Staying here for a little bit, at yes. least. Um, uh, can you kind of give an outline of what other films you're excited about seeing while you're here. Yeah, um, a lot of the Austin movies for sure, because um, again Austin's very supportive <laughs> of, of everybody and um, I know a couple of our actors are in a movie called Zero Charisma, which I really want to see, um, and uh, The Bounce Back, Brian Poyser, uh, also very supportive of my career, I want to mm -hmm. see his film. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else came from Austin, but I mean, and the big stuff too, like Evil Dead and mm -hmm. Spring Breakers, whatever, sure. <laughs> it should be fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> gotcha. Evil Dead sounds right up your alley, um, especially given the, the concept of the film. Can you give a, a explain to us what the film's about and um, kind of give an overview of what the trailer, which we're about to watch, um, give an overview of what we're going to see in the trailer and what the story is surrounding this? Yeah. Um, the movie's about an 18-year-old Tony Phillips um, who doesn't um, think that he's too old to be trick-or-treating. He just loves Halloween so much, and that's what you always do on Halloween, and his friends and family are like, you've got to do something else, <laughs> and he just doesn't want to accept that. So it's kind of sweet, kind of sad, kind of funny, mm -hmm. um, and uh, just hopefully a little bit of a, you know, a, a little story about the transition out of the teen experience. Gotcha. And so it, is it... Is that kind of story something very personal to you? Have you been obsessed with Halloween? <laughs> uh, I do love Halloween. When I was little, just because of the overactive imagination and the wanting to write and stuff, it just scared me until <laughs> I started watching horror movies, mm -hmm. and then I thought they were fun all of a sudden. So Halloween just was in that all-encompassing things that terrify me until <laughs> a certain age. Um, but Tony uh, Phillips is played by a good friend of mine and an actor I've worked with for many years uh, named Tony Vespi. And when I just wanted to write a story where Tony could be Tony, and um, when I pitched him the story, he was like, well, that happened to me when I was 18. And I was like, <laughs> what? And so kind of based on a true story. All right. Or based on a true story after the fact that he had this idea. <laughs> it was already written. <laughs> right. So we're going to see Tony being Tony uh, in this new trailer for Grow Up Tony Phillips. Enjoy. Enjoy it. <laughs> I don't want to make 
We think that you might be in denial of the problem. What the problem? Halloween is the best, best day, day ever. ever. We know. I can't not trick or treat. Why not? That's what I always do. On a scale of one to defeating the Nazis, where does Halloween fall for you, Tony? You should be focused on your college apps. I said I would do them, Mom. And I don't understand why someone as smart as you would waste so much time and energy on a stupid holiday. You deserve so much more than these people that laugh at the things that make you happy. Most people wouldn't see how genuine you are before they saw an 18-year-old trying to get candy over a bunch of little kids. What should I do? old to be this irresponsible. I know what my thing is, and I'm gonna enjoy doing it. Whether or not you decide those judgmental idiots are more important than our friendship. What do they say? What's, how does the saying go? The best ideas are the bad ideas. Everything you say, Gary, is awful. Breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.